Thank you so much for joining me. We are playing Spells and Secrets demo in time for next fest. And usually I kind of skip this part just because I, I take forever and it might be a little boring for you. But uh, they did give us a character creation screen. So I guess uh, you're welcome to sit with me while I do this real quick. Um, I thought it was uh, pretty an interesting scoop. So they have names for them. There's Cute A. There's Soft C. Oh, that's Go all the way. Okay, cute A, soft A, elegant A, heroic A, <laughs> and so on. And there is actually a noticeable difference. I think I liked this one the most. Abra. Healthy eyebrow. Do one with stylish thin eyes. Uh, face details. It have acne. Oh, poor dude. <laughs> Oh, I see. There's have the port way, uh, port wine, birthmark. Cute little heart. Uh, resting face. Neutral. Friendly. Lie. <laughs> Shabug. Serious. There's a bit sassy. Oh, the Tim and the new Lloyd Rose. Okay, sorry. Uh, wacky. Bored. And cheap. Alright, let's do sassy. Everybody needs to be sassy. Okay, eye color. Not that fine. Body type. Feminine or masculine. I am enjoying <laughs> that uh, you can pick without. Anyway, never mind. Head shape. <laughs> you can make a bird. You can have a teeny tiny a little head. Alright, well let's kinda go there. Shape. Whoosh. Whoosh. Let's have him be a little bit on the short side. Lighten it up just a smidge. Because I'm ghost white. A little bit of sun. A little bit of sun for them. Uh, pose. Heroic. Proud. Hip. Dry. Well, you can't be. Well, you can be sassy and dry. Uh, relaxed. Eighty. <laughs> Cute. Yep. Playful. Actually, this stance here um, is less playful and more, uh, not quite sure what's going on. Elegant. Aesthetic. Chashy. And reserved. Uh, I don't know, I kind of... slouched. I don't want them to look... Okay, what am I going for? Heroic. Yeah. You mean hip that they stick their hip out? <laughs> Let's do relaxed. Relaxed. Okay. Oh my goodness. They are letting us go crazy. Okay. Shaved. Mop. Ponytail. It will probably be the high ponytail. But we'll keep checking. Blunt. Side cut. That is a head of hair. 
curly, fuzzy, quick burn. I think I got the dreads. Short locks. Dropped. Short. Double bun. Wavy. Poopy. <laughs> Braided. Oh, I like the braid. Awfully similar to what I wear all the time. Uh, elegant. Long. Cool. And all right, let's go back to the braided. Hair color. I'm actually pretty chill with the hair color. Oh. Uh, I don't. Dark and natural. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this actually reminds me a little bit of the brat dolls. You guys know <laughs> that. Alright. Um, natural. Oh, I like that. Okay, <laughs> let's do that. Uh, face accessory. We really can't see them. Oh, just a smidge. Okay. Glasses is... Oh, the glasses are pretty cute. Alright. Uh, I want to zoom in. I actually want to see what the necklace looks like. It won't let me, so we'll forego it for now. Or so. Oh, now we can probably see it. Is what we're for here. Uh, is there a skirt and leggings? Or is it to be worn like this, but it's meant to be worn like this? That's cute. Do the colorful tiny. I think we're done. Oh, just accessory. Finally, I think we're done. Alright. <laughs> Save and play. Get out of here. <laughs> Welcome to character creation with me. <laughs> Alright. You need to connect two controllers to be able to activate the local co-op mode. Resting. I am walking into this pretty blind. I did read the synopsis uh, three days ago when I downloaded the game, uh, but I haven't looked at it since, and then I failed to look at it again when I loaded the game, so... Uh, <laughs> we'll just roll into it and see what happens. <laughs> Good evening, you must be Manilia. Welcome to the Academy of the Griffenstein. My name is Professor Amanda Ventura, and I am in charge of new arrivals, like you. You were late, but don't worry, I used to be late all the time. It is with great joy that I introduce you to our proud griffin. This is Merlin. Uh, Merlin? Vo uh, venerable protector of the Academy and the beating heart of Griefenstein. He has watched over our school for centuries and is always there when he is called upon. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Maybe you can even pet him. Hi. Ah, I 
as afraid of that. Don't worry. He's always skeptical, uh, skeptical of newcomers at first. Once the two of you get to know each other a little better, he will become more trusting. Oh, it is getting dark already. You best go straight to your room in the living quarters. I will see you tomorrow. All right, so let's dress the uh, elephant in the room. I, I didn't play uh, Harry Potter or the School of Wizardry, uh, so I don't know the comparison, just what I know of the... from the, the books more so than the movies. Uh, yeah, so I don't... I don't, I don't know if we can make a comparison of this game to that, but just addressing the elephant, I am aware. Alright, so there's the living quarters. Find your dorm room. Oh, we got a feather. Whatever that means. Oh, interesting. There is a change of sound when you're walking on different wood. I like it. This is a really nice dorm room. I need to go to a school of wizardry. Oh. Alright, go to sleep. We'll be good. We'll follow the game's instructions. Oh, no! Something bad happened! Attention all students, this is your principal speaking. As we speak, an unknown force is trying to enter the castle. No reason to worry, the castle's defenses work like a charm. Nevertheless, I have to ask you all to report to the secure schoolyard immediately. Your teachers will secure the school and assist you. Be on your guard. Chapter 1, Telekinesis. Telekinesis is a simple but versatile spell. This spell allows you to move a target by sure willpower without even touching it. Make sure you keep a firm footing and focus on your target. Maintain the spell and imagine yourself moving the target object instead of your body. Ooh, hello. Uh, hi, Manilia. I'm glad to see you are well. The whole school is suddenly crawling with magical creatures, causing all kinds of trouble. Do you see those main doors? They close automatically and remain locked as long as intruders are pre present in the area. Doki. They will only open once all intruders have been defeated or the area has been secured. Oh, I am being summoned. Alas, I cannot accompany you back to the schoolyard, so you will have to fend for yourself. Are you familiar with the magic missile yet? It is very simple. Stay focused on your target and think about how much you want to get rid of it. <laughs> I pull it up. Does that work in real life? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, got off topic. <laughs> I really... I really need to get... I really need to get going now. I'll see you in the schoolyard. 
Did you, hold on. Wait. Did you? Was I the only one that saw that? <laughs> She's got a really decent turn radius. <laughs> okay. Stop clicking on that. <laughs> Girlfriend. Did <laughs> see you come through a practice? <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. I'm trying to see, can I turn my camera? It doesn't look like I can. Oh no! Looks like we're safe to head out. Oh, hey, you there. Good thing you're here. As you can see, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Clumsy me forgot to bring along my wand. Without it, I regrettably can't do anything against this armadillo, but surely you can help me out here. You must have noticed what happened to the thing when it rolled against the wall. Armadillos show their vulnerable belly when stunned. Make sure you give the beast a good whack at just the right time. I'm sure that will be a piece of cake for you. Watch out, it's waking up. Excellent. I knew you could do it. Just like this armadillo, each creature has a certain weak spot. If you find these and exploit them, you can make only... 
You can make any beast. That's not what that says at all. If you find these and exploit them, you can make any beast vulnerable and defeat them with ease. Use your spells creatively and observe carefully how beings react to them. This way, you will sooner or later find all the weaknesses. Thank you for saving me. I haven't even introduced myself yet. I'm Robin Peters, second year. I'm sure you heard of me. Always looking to solve tricky cases. What do you think? Should we work together and figure out what's going on? With your magical talent and my masterful detective eye, I'm sure we'll make an unbeatable team. I'll go on back to the schoolyard and get myself to safety. Meet me there, and I'll help you solve the mystery surrounding this attack on our school. Who just leaves that cheese on the ground? Whole wheel of cheese. Wait, didn't I come from here? Talk to the professor. Hello, you must be one of the Sears newscomers. Let me introduce myself. Dr. Theodore Act uh, Oct Dr. Theodore Octavius Pot, supervisory teacher and for blah blah blah. Supervisor teacher <laughs> Supervisory teacher for first year students. You may skip the doctor if you like. Oh, and Octavius too, please. <laughs> Evidently, there is another one of these nasty creatures in this area. You seem to know how to defend yourself against such intruders. So, how about a new spell? Take your pick. You also turn yourself into a swift and tiny mouse. Avoid detection. Turn to target to levitate it, making it airborne. Airborne entities cannot move. Charge the spell to increase the duration of the spell. Tross, produce a shockwave to forcefully push away targets. Okay, actually. A splendid choice. I have one essential lesson for you. You can find magical artifacts all over the castle. These artifacts are items that'll uh, these artifacts are items that modify and enhance some of your spells while you are carrying them. There is a hidden room next door with such an artifact. You students think it's a secret, but what you might not know is that I hid it there on my own student days. By the way, that is not the only secret to be found here in these walls. Be that as it may, the artifact in this room will modify your new spell. This will make your fight with the intruder a breeze. However, the entrance to the secret room is locked behind a riddle, so you have to use your wits to find your way in. I'll give you one last tip before I have to take my leave. Follow the lights and you will be enlightened. Was he hiding in here, or was this his room? And I find it funny that uh, Wizarding School has a computer. Not that bad thing. Interesting. Yeah. But how do I get there? Follow the light. Have the orange lights. The blue lights.
There we go. Alfred's glove. Jostle interrupts, confuses, and even stuns any target it hits based on how long you charge it. Confused entities cannot target anything. I instinctively want to move by WASD, and so this is causing me a few little minor hiccups in trying to move and wanting to hit WASD. So if you see me like in the middle of something trying to move and I'm just shooting off a spell, it's because I instinctively put my hand there and moved it. But at the moment, my hand is off the keyboard, so I don't accidentally do something silly. Investigate the magic circle. Do we want to be standing in the magic circle? Excellent! My teleport traps are working! Everything is going to plan. Well, what do we have here? A lost little hatchling. You must have fallen out of your nest. Too bad your old griffin patron isn't here to protect you. Prepare for your end. Oh. This isn't a battle I meant to win. That's what your arrogance gets you. It is really quite pathetic what has become of this school. I hope the next one you send will be more of a challenge. You are the real deal! What a cool entrance! Thanks again for saving me from that rampaging armadillo. Whatever's going on around here is pretty suspicious, don't you think? I have a feeling we'll solve this case together. Would you mind going back to the castle to look for more clues? It should be a breeze for you with your magic skills. Why don't we figure out what happened together and hunt down those responsible? Get back to me when you discover something new. But before you follow that good instinct of yours, you should talk to Professor Ventura. Good to see you again. Our little detective is right. Your entrance was truly impressive. However, I don't think Robin understood its significance. You need to know one thing. You only stand before me now because Merlin gave you one of his mighty feathers. Whatever you encountered in the castle wanted your demise, and Merlin's feather prevented the worst. It all began tonight with that strange explosion in the spires. Since then, Merlin and the principal have disappeared without a trace. I hope they are both well. I never thought I would see the magic of a griffin feather myself. 
It is said that a griffin feather carries its owner to safety when they are in mortal danger. Merlin seems to have suspected something even before tonight's incident occurred. You should keep this secret to yourself. There are people in the world who would do terrible things to obtain the power of a griffin feather. However, there is one advantage to this whole predicament. You are now free to explore the castle without us having to fear for your safety. Nevertheless, prepare yourself well. After all, you will have to fight your way through. Please visit Dr. Pot and learn a new spell. He is waiting for you in the middle of the schoolyard. Hello, nice to see that you are in one piece. It seems the last spell I showed you was quite useful. I'll be happy to teach you more. Visit me anytime. I was going to try to see if it let me read that plaque, but it does not. <laughs> Excellent. I see you and Dr. Pot are getting along pretty well. Before you leave for the castle, I have some important advice for you. Once you have gained enough experience, you can visit us professors to improve your spells. For example, I can teach you enhanced forms of the telekinesis spell and the magic missile. The griffin's effigy in the center of the schoolyard even allows you to permanently improve your basic stats, such as health and mana. You can now explore other areas that border the schoolyard, the atrium, and the promenade. There you will find more schoolmates, magical devices, and access to the different student factions. Would you mind keeping an eye for lost schoolmates inside the castle? There must be some who are still trapped in the different parts of the castle. I am sure that you could, if you rescue them, I am sure that if you rescue them and later visit them in the schoolyard, they will gladly share their valuable experiences with you. Oh, one last thing. Don't surprise if the castle appears unfamiliar each time you enter it. A magical defense mechanism ensures that the areas are constantly rearranged, resulting in a crazy maze. Have fun in the castle. Oh, is this a dungeon crawler? <laughs> this is one of those secret dungeon crawlers. Map, collector's guide. Oh, it's you! Well, there is one upside to this whole affair no exams. I'll tell you something else. You can enable local. Co okay. <laughs> How are you? Serena uh, Leicester. I'm so excited about the new year, and now this. I have a secret for you. If you lose all of your health, you will be defeated. Shield health protects your health from being depleted. You are defeated while in the castle. Your run will fail, and you are returned to the schoolyard. You can abort a run at any time via the pause menu to return to the schoolyard. When a run ends, you will lose all of your collected gold, artifacts, and potions. You will never lose earned experience, learn spells, or unlocked upgrades. <laughs> that was cheating, though. <laughs> Hey, thanks for your help. I hope you can save some of the others from the castle. Can I share a hint with you? Your spells all have unique and useful effects. Combine them in creative ways to achieve powerful synergies. Artifacts are very powerful items, especially when combined with others. 
You should always try out the ones you find to learn about their effect and possible synergies. Keep an eye on your surroundings to discover useful objects or features. They may offer you a great advantage in combat. Yo, cool bumping into you! I'm new here, too. Maybe we can hang out sometime. How about a helpful hint? Always stay in motion during combat to avoid getting hit. You can use objects and obstacles as cover. Targeting foes or objects can be a challenge in the middle of combat. Try and play around with different controls and targeting settings to adjust them to your playstyle. Another one of the new nobodies. You're lucky you made it out of here. Let me give you some advice. Potions are useful and can be very powerful if you use them wisely. Don't be afraid to use them when you need them, as they are easily recharged. Hi, you must be Manilia. We are very lucky to be safe here in the schoolyard. Have you heard? Always observe your foe's reaction to attacks and spells to learn about their weaknesses. You can exploit them to make them vulnerable and defeat them more efficiently. You might not always find the right moment to damage a vulnerable foe in the heat of battle. However, exploiting their weakness will take them out for a short time, giving you time to breathe. We're not done. <laughs> I knew you were doing fine. I'm sure you will find many other students in the castle. Let me help you. The central hub has a lot to offer. Use the magic mirror to customize your character or the sorcerer's sundial to change the time of day. The four student factions have their own areas in the hub. Once you gain access to those, you can use their features as well. Nice to meet you. I barely made it back to the schoolyard before the castle was sealed off. Did you know? Spend your earned experience to learn new spells, improve them, or unlock character upgrades. Upgrading your spells will make them more effective against your foes. Against more powerful opponents deeper in the castle, your spells require more improvements for them to be effective. You can permanently improve your character stats like health and mana at the griffin's effigy in the yard. Act 1, first day of school. You arrived at the Academy of Griefenstein and were welcomed by Elder Griffin Merlin and the protector of the liv the protector and living symbol of the castle. On your very first night, a powerful explosion rocked the spires and savage creatures suddenly descended upon the school. But there was no sign of Merlin or the principal. You encountered a mysterious figure as you made your way to the safety of the schoolyard. He, a master of dark magic, wanted to dispose of you with a powerful destruction spell. You were only saved from certain demise by the powerful magic feather given to you by Merlin shortly after your arrival. With the help of your classmate Robin Peters, you set out to solve the mis uh, you set out to solve the mystery surrounding these events. Thanks to uh, the Griffin's gift, you alone are equipped to face the threat now lurking in the castle.
Yep, it's a dungeon crawler. <laughs> I'm not mad about it. This. Are you still taking root or starting to outrun them all? Magical Endurance run with Curator Nala Abara. Every Wednesday and no dawdling. Okay, I'm struggling with getting it to... I think we were in. Okay, I'm gonna guess we can go by the fact that this is lit. I'm confused why that doesn't always push him back.
A feather maliciously stolen from a griffin is powerless and lacks any magical abilities. It is essential that the griffin gave the feather freely for it to unfold its power. The king takes all adjacent squares. Beating the king wins the game. Do I have to defeat that or can I leave? No, I have to defeat it. Thus, dungeon crawler. Okay. <laughs> Well, oh, that didn't work my way. Yes, let's go in this way. I'm slightly surprised that there is not just a bunch of bottles laying around. <laughs> just a bottle of potions. If I was a, a wizarding student, I would have potions and whatnot everywhere. Hey, you! Didn't expect to see anyone else wandering around out here. I'm Anton Goldfuck, CEO and eager co-founder of Goldfush Fush, Fush, Shops and Services. My brother Emil and I have just launched our business and promptly everything starts going terribly wrong. Please don't tell me they're twins. I really hope they're not twins. <laughs> that pesky incident at school has thrown quite a spanner in the works for us. All our inventory and savings have been scattered around the castle in the commotion. If you find any golden troves and lucky bags, then their contents are probably part of our startup capital. Startup capital. Cap oh, uh, then their contents and probably part of the co then their contents are probably part of our startup capital. I can offer you a few leftovers until we have rebuilt our supplies. If you want to help us rebuild, you should talk to a mill in the schoolyard. I'll let him know to meet you there. Oh, I was starting to think I was going to have to solve the puzzle in order to leave.
fire. I didn't know what it was. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I thought it was something part of the monsters were doing. I didn't realize that we just have fireplaces or uh, fire pits in our homes. Songs of Ice and Fire, Big Band and Choir with Mistra Satori every Thursday evening. That sound. That sound. And why is there a question mark? A question mark mean something? Oh no, oh no. Oh, it hurts them to walk through that too. Noted. Trapped in a yep. I'm getting myself cornered in a place I don't want to be. Lot of plunder is the new head girl. You can read what really makes the stare devil tick in our exclusive interview as soon as we have been able to conduct it. Hopefully she will soon return from her expedition into the secret rooms of the Academy. So we got one more hidden and then we're done. <laughs> and that will probably mark my end of this demo <laughs> though i'm sure we can keep diving in what happens when you play blind mm. well we know what that is so it seems like a bad idea to want to step into it last time we stepped into it we died <laughs> Oh, we're dead. <laughs> this has been fun. There we go down. <laughs> Explore the castle to complete your first turn. Oop. All right. 
Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and keeping me company. I'll be back with another demo soon.